I see Van Howard from before to now. Back in the day, you see a place like Saratoga? This is where the best meet the best. But today, it's the best meeting the less. It's less, it's less than what you used to be. You will find brothers years ago used to rub horses, man. Today they just take care of horse. Yeah. Groom them uh, to the groom, fullest. Yeah, groom them to you the fullest. You know what I mean? No vetting coming telling them, boy, has need this, that's got to do this. He got a bad ankle, he got a bad knee, and all that type of thing. Which, you know, yes, our old groom gonna fix it when the vet come to it and he check it out, he gonna see it good. So all he could do is make it better than, better than what it was. Because the groom don't do his part already, you know? And what's the job? And let me ask you a question, right? What's the job of a groom, though? Like, like the real a way? Groom, the real way? The real way. A groom is a, is a man that take care of the horse. He clean the stall. He bought the horse. He do everything for the horse except training. But he know more than the, than anybody in the in the barn about the horse than the trainer and any and the assistant and them. Because he there under the horse every day. You understand? Every day he there with his horse. So. When when you got a when you is a real groom and you doing the right thing to a house, keeping it happy, keeping it sound, keeping it feeling good and everything, you and him gonna got a band. He will follow you through fire and all because of the band you and him have. He gonna love you to the fullness, you know, it's just like you like a kid. Like you you got your young kid, you know what I mean, a year old whatsoever. As soon as you come to, to the to the door. That kid right that stuff for you, because you know he bring you bring him home, daddy bringing bringing him home something, you know what I mean? So he gonna be really really being good to you, just like the horse. He gonna got a lot of respect for you, because you don't treat him the way you want to be treated, so he feel good. But today a lot of them horses ain't getting the treatment like the olden days. Things change, you know. You got the different people come from all walks of life, you know. The real groom them used to come out. Uh, he used to be the black man. <coughs> Got this thing packed down to the fullest. But as the years go on, they start to, you know, things change. Like, so, like, if, if, if you could name some of the most famous grooms, man, that nobody never talked about, man. Like, well, who, like what's some of them names? Truly you. I, I, I heard of Eddie Sweat. Never met him, but that's the man that groomed Secretary. I heard a Snake. He used to groom um, Ak Ak, you know. When I, 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 most of my years done in California, you understand? So when I've been in California, I get to meet a lot of, a lot of horsemen. You know what I mean? It was only five blacks and a track when I went to California. Things have changed, but as the years go on and I start to rub horse to the fullest, they used to call me, like throughout my career as a groom, I win close to at least 175 races as a groom. I win a lot of races, graded, allowance, and a lot of claimer, and a lot of broke maiden. You know what I mean? Wow. But as the years go by, you know, I see that the, the tides start to change. And you know what I mean? They don't want a man that a groom has no more. They just want a man that just take care of the house. So I realize all of that, so I just, I back out the stars and I start just walking horses, you know what I mean? So, um, how you got started in um, horse racing? I started in a, about with horse racing way back when I was nine years old in the Virgin Island. My brother used to gallop horses and I used to follow him. And you know, when you're a young boy in the Virgin Island, you know, like you, most of the people then got a house and they got like a stable in the back of the house. You know how the Caribbean is. They are away from the track, you know, they ain't training on the track, you know what I mean? So I, I get involved in that as a young boy, you know what I mean? And it just stuck with me. Today I sit in and something a lot of people don't know. And I gonna tell you right here. I'm a five-step house man. I know you're gonna wanna know what's a five-step house man. This a youngster come from basics to skills to technique to perfection and right now I sit in like a specialist. Mm. You know what I mean? A lot of knowledge, a lot of, lot, of, lot of everything just like a package deal, you know what I mean? For all the years I've been into this. I know deep down in my heart right now, 
I never meet a groom that rob has like me. Mm. Never. Mm. All the years I did in this, they used to drop the groom box. I said, no, sir. You is out of the ordinary. I never see that. But you see, God will bless people that have love in their heart for themselves and others. Mm. And he'll give you a gift that is hard to explain. But you just got to live it and keep the love for yourself and others. And when you love God, ain't nothing could go wrong in your life. Always remember that. Amen. I love God and God love me. You know what I mean? He blessed me. I'm 63 years old and I still feel like a youngster. I'm not burn up, I'm not drug out, I'm not drunk, I'm not nothing, you know what I mean? It's a blessing, right? Because the name of this program, right? It's yeah. called The Real Players wow. Inside the Backstretch, man. Wow. And be honest, that'd be you, right? That's and me, Roy Seals. We want to give you a rose. I know, now, man. a lot of people know me. So when they see me, they're going to tell you, yes, this man here read with the game. Mm. I ain't scared to tell you. You go come to me every day and I give you an interview. Mm. I like that. Because you see the um, Saratoga special? They come to me about a year ago and I give them an interview. The next day I see my name and my picture, everything in the papers. You know what I mean? They say, Roy, we appreciate your interview. Everybody I talk to about her, they said I need a lot of your kind around here. You know, it's like, it's like this, man, you know? When you got a love for something and a passion, ain't nobody could take that away from you. You can just keep it inside of you. And the main thing right now, I got to accept what's going on in the house racing today. Because if me don't accept it, it's going to affect me. So I got to accept it. You know, I got to accept what dealing, what dealing I see out there into the house racing. Because it is what it is. I ain't going to try to change it. But if I get the opportunity to, to, <laughs> to, to make that, that, um, that, that power move, I sure will. Because it's like this, man. When you black and you got knowledge and everything, if you don't have no money behind of you, you can't go. Mm. You're going to be like a sitting duck. Mm. And you're just going to be jumping huddles after huddles after huddles after huddles. So I accept all of that. And, and we're in Saratoga, right? And what makes this track so special, man? Because it's... It's the first race track in America. It's a hysteric track. And all the greats come here, the good horses, the good trainers, the good grooms, all the good horsemen always appear here. This is a tradition been going on for years. But now, during the fact that you got these guys from the third world country and all over, they don't understand the tradition. They got one thing in their mind. They're going to make money to send home to their people. I understand that. Everybody got love for their family and, and, and each and every one. You understand? But you see them things in them stall? Them like the athlete. You see like how the Michael Jordan, the Kobe Bryant and all of them. Them days like that in their way. You know what I mean? Because one house could turn your life around. One house and open a door wide, wide for you. Mm. And everybody waiting for that chance. I know deep down in my heart, you know what I mean? My chances are limited in America because of what I know about race horses. They don't like a guy like me that know about horse. They like like a mute. <laughs> Somebody that don't know nothing. Because today ain't about horses, you know. It's about money. It's all corporation take over yeah. now, huh? Money. Mm. All of these guys that are coming from them, uh, Wall Street, the investors and all of them, them is the horse owners today. And they ain't know nothing about horses. They just know the money. They know about money. You understand? But we love the horses. That's all. But they see this game today. You know this game today got more money than yesterday. And that's what bringing them to the game. Look that race in um, South Arabia. Or so Saudi or what they call it. This race going for 20 million. <laughs> 20 million. Wow. Oh my God, I watch all of this. The Dubai World Cup, they go for 10 million. Gulfstream just got a race here, the Pegasus. They go for what, 6 million, 5 million? Stranic, Stranic come in with that there. And the Breeders' Cup, you know, the, the classic. They go for how much million now? 
I know it used to be what five million. I don't know if it gone up now. You know what I mean? Because the prices in this game today, the sky's the limit. Hey, you got a sale coming over here Monday and Tuesday. You got to go there because you're going to see what's going on into the house wall. You know what I mean? You're going to see some babies go to the ring and they're going for one point something million, two point something million. You know what I mean? It all depends on the bloodline. You know what I mean? And, and what's one of the strongest bloodlines in the game though? Right now? Just in general in history. Top it. Top it rules. And you got into mischief behind of him. But top it is the main thing right now. Wow. I I believe in top it. You know? <coughs> it's great. Hey man, we want to say thank you, man, for sitting down with the real players inside yeah, the backstretch. I man. didn't know you like that. Like I said, if you see me every day, I could give you an interview. If you got the questions, I give you the answers. Thank you. Because, like I said, I got into this game from nine years old and I'm in my mid-60s. So I got a lot to tell you, you know?